Okay, I'm going to show you the absolute best way in the world to clean your camera lenses. If you took the top 50 YouTube channels on photography, I have cleaned more lenses than all of them combined and probably times 10. Learned this trick a long time ago, and uh, the trick to it is actually clean the lenses the same way the elements are polished in their creation. You'll need this, depending on how dirty the lens is, a blower, a uh, brush. You need to clean this uh, periodically, obviously, after you use it. You can clean it uh, with soap and water. I actually clean these with isopropyl alcohol, 70% isopropyl alcohol. Um, you'll need the isopropyl alcohol, of course. This is a little uh, glass jar of distilled water. And very importantly, cotton Q-tips. Why cotton instead of polyester? Well, the polyester, or the synthetic, if you will, um, uh, Q-tips feel really soft they're actually abrasive on uh, the nanoscale and the uh, vacuum deposited crystalline growth uh, the ar coating the anti-reflective coating is actually sensitive to that type of abrasion so it doesn't matter if they're cheap q-tips or expensive ones but they need to be cotton and not synthetic okay so blower brush isopropyl alcohol distilled water not tap water distilled water there we go you can also use like a jar of evian or something like that that's fine as long as it's not uh, anything that has any mineral deposits in it so let's get to it we're actually going to clean a filter instead of the front element but nothing is any different than cleaning the filter versus the front element so let me actually place the camera in the caddy here sorry about that because I actually have a lot of people say you know I'll sit there and I'll clean and I'll clean and I know this has happened to you you'll get like a finger smudge on uh, the front element and you'll sit there clean and clean it's like no matter what i do i can't get the uh, front element of the lens clean first thing you do is you take your blower and turn it upside down pull all the dust and the important thing is that you're actually doing is here if this was i was cleaning the front element the uh, cracks right here near the edge where the front element meets uh, the spanner ring um, is where uh, all the particles uh, will deposit so after you've done that actually now of course i'm going to do this to uh, the filter instead of the front element. Also going to turn it upside down. I'm actually going to clean the uh, dust particles out of that uh, little crack around there. Now, when you clean the front element on a lens, what's really important is once you uh, wet your Q-tips with uh, the distilled water, what's really important is that you not to go all the way to the edge because you do not want any liquids seeping between that spanner ring and the front element and migrating behind it, which can cause a fungus to start growing and um, also you'll end up uh, with uh, little uh, wet spots. I've seen actually people take sopping wet Q-tips and this is the reason why I actually have this cloth here. I'm going to show you something in a second, which is actually incredibly important. Let me get this brush out of the way when you actually go to clean your front element. Now, I don't actually have any front, uh, excuse me, any fingerprints on this, but I'm going to put some fingerprints right here. And I actually rub my head here and place some oily prints. And this is an anti-reflective coated filter. Also, just as is the front element anti-reflective coating. What I actually do is I'll take two Q-tips like this. I'll dab it in my rubbing alcohol. The same thing with my uh, distilled water. Is I'll go over here and turn these back and forth until these are damp. Rather than sopping wet. Sopping wet, excuse me. There we go. And check out the motion I'm actually doing to... Uh, to this, and once again, if this were the front element, I would take this all the way very, very close to the edge, but not to the edge. But since I did this number over here on my clean cotton cloth, I've gotten out all excess liquids someone actually press against the front element or against the filter. Filter doesn't make any difference for the front element, it does. Liquid does not come out and start migrating uh, between the front element and the spanner ring. Here we go. And uh, what we're using the isopropyl alcohol for, obviously, is to remove the oily residue. I'm actually going to flip this over and two Q-tips, two Q-tips, unless it's a really, really small lens, this is what I do. I hold it like this. I take Q two Q-tips. It's hard to say, isn't it? Two Q-tips like this. And you'll notice as I'm turning the lens, the actual motion that I'm actually doing. This is actually also, too, how these elements are uh, polished after they're finished off and they get their final, there we go, 
Actually, I put a quite a bit of oil on the front there. Let me get some more rubbing alcohol. Okay. And after using this is 70% isopropyl alcohol and 30% water, but uh, you'll always end up with a residue afterwards. The only thing you're actually doing with the isopropyl is uh, removing those oils off the front element, or in this case, uh, the filter. Okay. I'll actually turn the lens upside down, give it a good blow. Okay, now we're going to move on to our uh, um, distilled water. I'm going to take two Q-tips like this. I'm going to dip it in my distilled water. Obviously, right now, these are sopping wet, right? Do not think about cleaning your front element or rear element, especially. Go over here. You see what I'm doing? I'm pressing them against the cotton cloth. I'm flipping them over, and I'm actually pressing the tips. So now it's damp, but it's not sopping wet okay now see the motion that i'm actually doing if you mimic this you will not have any issue cleaning your front element or filter i actually people always ask me this all the time i got hundreds and hundreds of lenses i've only got filters on like about 30 percent of them so you see this circular motion that i'm doing i'm actually going to flip these over okay and you want to do it Depends on the humidity in the room at the time. You want to do it quickly so the water, the stilled water, doesn't start to dry. But you'll notice I'm working my way. This is a rather large filter. I'm working my way outside and then to the inside. And since I didn't bring the water to the edge, what I'm doing is I'm bringing the drying edge. The drying edge is actually sweeping the uh, dampness to the edge. So I do not need to bring any wetness to the edge of the front element. That's actually very important. But I'm working my way inwards and I'm working my way up. Now you think this is a crazy motion. I'm just like, he's spinning the lens and he's also spinning the Q-tips like this. What the hell is he doing? I guarantee you, if you follow this procedure, you will and I know many of you have done this. You got a smudge in the front or some sort of gunk or whatever the hell. And you've gone to clean the front element of your lens. Like, oh my God, I just cleaned it and it's still dirty. And you clean it again. You grab some new Q-tips or whatever. Oh my God, it's still dirty. And then you grab some more Q-tips or whatever it is. You, oh my God, it's still dirty. And people will sit there for 20 minutes. <laughs> sit there for 20 minutes, you know, cleaning the front element of the lens. Like, it's still dirty. At least it looks dirty. Okay. Now, this house is clean. Ah, clean, 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 clean. Remember, let me grab a couple dry Q-tips. I'm going to do it in slow motion and show you what I'm doing as if uh, these uh, were wet or, or the drying motion. It says I'm turning the lens. I'm actually taking the dampness and, and moving it out to the edge. And this is exactly how lenses are polished, by the way. And about uh, three quarters of the way through, I'll work my way to the center and do the same thing in the center. Then I'll sweep back out to the edge. And the entire time, the front element or uh, the filter is uh, drying off. And I'll actually, too, if it's a really uh, big filter lens, I'll flip them over about halfway through on the drying cycle to grab the dry side of the q-tips remember they need to be cotton not polyester so you don't damage that see this green reflection that's the that's crystalline vacuum deposited crystalline growth anti-reflective coating it's actually sensitive to abrasion and uh, those uh, polyester synthetic uh, q-tips uh, don't use them don't care if they're cheap dollar store q-tips as long as they're cotton cotton the fabric of our lives right so this is the motion you do. If you follow this, you know, exactly what I'm doing here, guarantee you your front element will not only be cleaner than it's ever been, but you'll not have to do it. It's like, it's still dirty, and you clean it again. It's still dirty. I guarantee you this works. I guarantee you. Okay, I hope you liked this video. This is the best lens cleaning video on YouTube, bar none, hands down, period. No ifs, ands, or buts. Because homie has cleaned more lenses than God. Ha 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 ha. I can guarantee to you that one. Okay? If you like these videos, click the link below. Tell me how much you hate me. But what you can't tell me is that if you follow this procedure, that your lens was still dirty. Because it won't be. This procedure always works. Doesn't matter how big it is. Actually, if you got uh, like a really, really huge lens, like say it's a 300 millimeter 2.8, what I'll do is I'll actually spread out 
four Q-tips like this. If this was a huge 95 millimeter front element or 135 millimeter, whatever, huge. I'll do this number, huge. So this works for tiny little lenses, tiny little lens, bigger lens, bigger lens. You see what I'm saying? There we go. Thank you. And peace out.